I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short, St. Patrick and the Legend of His Breastplate. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us rolling. And we need your help. Our kids need your help in these dark times. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, which brings us to a hymn in our hymnal, um, which captures his faith. I bind unto myself this day, you'll see, is attributed to Patrick around the 5th century. The tune is Irish, duh. Um, you'll see this is hymn number 604 in um, LSB. Uh, just a great hymn, just an amazing hymn. I absolutely love this hymn, and I hope you love this hymn as well. So um, what I like about this hymn is a little bit about its origin. Supposedly, the myth is that um, there was a king in Ireland, and I'm going to try to pronounce his name right here. His name was, um, uh, let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. Um, Logere. And he wanted the Christians to worship at a pagan festival, and Patrick, their their pastor, their missionary, refused. And the king was enraged, and he sent his army after Patrick. Um, this was probably the snakes um, that Patrick drove out of uh, Ireland. But um, Patrick and his, his congregation fled the scene. Um, and as they fled uh, from the king and his army, it is said that they sang this song. I bind unto myself this day the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three. I bind unto myself this day, I bind this day to me forever by power of faith, Christ's incarnation, his baptism in the Jordan River, his cross and death for my salvation, his bursting from the spiced tomb, his riding up the heavenly way, his coming at the day of doom, I bind unto myself today. They were said to have escaped as if... Um, they appeared as wild deer. They ran, they, they appeared to have run so fast and they escaped the king and his army unharmed. And they escaped, supposedly they sang, I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead, his eye to watch, his might to stay, his ear to hearken to my need, the wisdom of my God to teach, his hand to guide, his shield to ward, the word of God to give me, me speech, his heavenly host to be my guard. This was life and death for them. If the king got them, he was going to kill them. Against the demon snares of sin, the vice that gives temptation course, the natural lusts that war within, the hostile foes that mar my course. Against all of this, of many a few or many far and, and nigh in every place and in all hours against their fierce hostility, I bind to me those holy powers as if what was going to save them was the confession of Jesus. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three and one and one and three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. If you're running from a king and your only protection is the Lord's Word, the last thing that, that of this thing 
of this, of this breastplate really sums it up. They were running because they were fleeing because they would worship no other God for no other God saves other than Christ the Lord. So as you pick up your beer, or if you're a youth, your pop or soda or sparkling water, LaCroix, um, I, I would invite you to sing or read I Bind Unto Myself This Day, hymn number 604 in LSB. Um, and, and just remember what it's about and why we celebrate Patrick, the missionary to Ireland, whose breastplate is still part of our hymnal today. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>